Now, we know that older people and those with underlying conditions are more susceptible to becoming very seriously ill from this virus, but statistics from all over the world are showing that men are also dying from the illness in higher numbers. Let's have a little look at the breakdown of age and gender from England and Wales. So you can see that the number of men who have died have outstripped women in every age group. The uh, men in yellow, the uh, women in the green graphs. Scientists say that there might be a number of biological and also behavioural factors responsible. Let's uh, discuss this a little bit further with Professor Sarah Hawkes from the Global Health 5050 initiative. So it's pretty obvious that there is a huge difference. It can't just be um, a fluke in the stats. What other reasons do you think? Are they cultural reasons or are they biological reasons? That's a very good question. And the honest answer is I can't give you a definitive answer. But like every disease, this is likely to be driven by a mixture of both biology and behavior. So those kinds of differences that we're seeing are replicated across a number of diseases um, across the world. So when you say diseases, what, what are we talking about here when it comes to the kind of conditions that men perhaps are more prone to? So that, that is one of the reasons that we think that, that behavior and gender is playing a role along with, bio, uh, along with the biology um, differences between men and women. So if we look at those, those other underlying conditions that, that people in ICU are likely to be suffering with, people who are likely more likely to die from COVID infection are suffering with, those are the heart disease, lung disease, it may be diabetes, we know that those conditions at a global level are more common in men than women. And we think that a large part of that difference in those underlying conditions is driven by behavioral differences between men and women in terms of things like exposure through occupation to unhealthy environments, smoking differences, alcohol consumption differences in many parts of the world. So it's the, the things, the behaviour that men perhaps are more, uh, do a little bit more that then lead to these biological differences. So things like just bog standard washing your hands, do you think women are just a little bit perhaps more hygienic than men? Anecdotally, many of people have told me that women are indeed more hygienic in terms of hand washing um, compared to men. But the reality is that in terms of rates of infection between men and women, our Global Health 5050 data is not actually showing much of a difference in terms of who gets who's diagnosed with an infection. So I, I can't tell you whether there's actually a difference in hand washing rates between men and women. Um, but what we do know is that once people are infected, we're seeing a much greater likelihood of men progressing to severe infection and a much greater likelihood of death across all the countries where, where we have that data available to us. And the data is stark, and I'm sorry for, for all our gentlemen viewers, of course you're, you're washing your hands, it's absolutely crucial at this time, but when we look at, say, the stats for China, for France, Italy, South Korea, male mortality rates more than 50% greater than the female rate. So this, there's something here, there is definitely a trend, and it looks pretty, pretty bleak, actually, pretty stark. It, it, it is very stark. When we first saw it, you, you quite rightly pointed out, was, you know, was this an artifact? And we weren't sure. But the longer we've looked at the data, the more country data that's available to us. And now that we're able to look at data disaggregated, not just by sex, but also by age, we're able to get a better handle on what the, pic, what the data is actually telling us from every country. And it's very clear that there is a sharp mortality difference between men and women. So amongst some age groups in Italy, for example, what we're seeing amongst men in their 70s and 80s who've died is that those differences, the, the risk of death was, was three times higher amongst men compared to women in those older age groups. And that comes back, we think, not just to underlying biological differences, but to the existence of these other conditions associated with the risk of, of, of death from COVID. 
Professor Hawkes, absolutely fascinating to speak to you. Good luck with the research, and we hope to get some uh, conclusive, uh, some more conclusive uh, 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 findings on this. A fascinating subject, Global Health 5050 Initiative. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you.